Four policemen killed in a drive-by shooting west of Cairo. And protests in London as French President Francois Hollande calls on Britain to join the fight against Daesh in Syria. Welcome back. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi witnessed on Saturday a ceremony launching a major East Port Said project. The scheme includes the construction of a port with a five-kilometer-long platform, as well as the establishment of an industrial and logistic hub and a housing region for investors. Here's the story. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi launched a major project to develop the Suez Canal Industrial Zone that includes several ventures, most notably the east of Port Said port. The scheme includes the construction of a port with a five-kilometer-long platform, as well as the establishment of an industrial and logistic hub and a housing region for investors. Developing the region also includes the digging of four tunnels south of Port Said. Prime Minister Sharif Ismail had inspected on Friday the development of East Port Said, which accommodates large ships as well as a project to provide water for the reclamation of 100,000 fiddans of land in the area. In his speech, Ismail said that the new Suez Canal is just the first step in a mile to develop the region, adding that digging of the new canal is a real start to developing the whole region. The Prime Minister said that the project includes developing east of Port Said region and that the East Port Said includes the port, industrial hub and a logistic region. On his behalf, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi gave a speech before giving the starting signal for the project. The President observes a minute of silence for the souls of the terrorist victims. He said that the development of Suez Canal hub was a dream and that working in new Suez Canal zone over the past 13 years was little. The president added that the country development is requiring relentless efforts, sincerity, and also vowed to build and protect Egypt. President Assisi said that the country works on the construction of a 5,000 kilometers long road network. He vowed to construct a road network linking the industrial region with airports and seaports, promising to end the project within two years instead of three. Four policemen were killed in a drive-by shooting near the Giza pyramids west of the capital. A security source said that the gunmen were driving a motorcycle when they shot at the conscripts who were among the forces securing the World Heritage Site. The source added that police forces were rapidly deployed to search for the assailants and hunt them down. In other news, the armed forces said a sudden technical failure was responsible for the crash of a military helicopter that was on a reconnaissance mission over the Cairo Ismailia Road near the 6th of October district. In a statement, military spokesman Brigadier Ahmed Samir said the jet's crew were injured and were transferred to hospital. In other news, the Cairo Criminal Court has resumed the trial of defendants accused of storming into the Talbia police station in the Governorate of Giza and joining an unsanctioned protest. The court case also resumed the retrial of four defendants sentenced to life in prison in the case known as the Zetun Incidents, in which the four are accused of illegal assembly and thuggery. The court is also set to resume the trial of 23 people in the case dubbed the Mespiru Incidents. Defendants are accused of illegal assembly, murder, as well as damaging public and private property. Minister of Foreign Affairs Semih Shukri is set to meet with the new UN envoy to Libya, Martin Kobler, who is currently visiting the country. Shukri and Kobler are expected to discuss the latest developments in Libya and a fresh push to urge rival parties in the country to sign a peace deal that they hope would end the crisis there. Kobler was recently appointed by UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon as a new envoy to Libya to succeed Bernardino Leon. His Holiness Pope Tawadros II, the Pope of Alexandria and the Holy Apostolic See of St. Mark has attended the funeral of Pope Abraham, the Pope of Jerusalem and the Near East in a rare visit to the occupied Jerusalem and the first in decades. Earlier, His Holiness Pope Tawadros dismissed an invitation from Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas to visit the city of Ramallah. 
In a statement issued by Egypt's Orthodox Church, Pope Tawadro said that he did not come to the occupied Palestinian territories on an official visit, but only to attend the funeral of the late Jerusalem Pope. He added that he would never visit Palestine without the presence of the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar, Sheikh Ahmed al tayyib To regional news now in Syria, fighters said they have seized the town in northern